Okay, so before you guys get mad at me, I know I said that the last video I made on him would be the last video I'd ever make on him, but he has just pulled so much crap that I just need to address it. Also, Kofi May, if you're watching this, then I may have ripped off or made a bootleg of your Dementia Morticia video or whatever, so please forgive me if I ticked you off doing that. But anyways, let's get on with the video. Hello there everyone, and welcome back to another video where I recently got a new DVD for my collection. <laughs> But anyways, I didn't really expect to make another video on Aaron Doan, but here I am, I'm doing it. But I'm pretty sure for certain that this will be the last video on him. He's pulled so much crap ever since that what was supposed to be Final Response, and I honestly really, really need to talk about it. I've been checking my Discord lately, well, I haven't been using it because of my no internet situation, but I've been checking it and I found a lot of his crap in the anti Aaron server my friend Christian made. Okay, I know, I was trying my very best to not get involved in anything related to him, but the server was still up and running and he still made me co-owner, so I pretty much had no choice but to check, considering the fact that it's the only way I can see if he's improving or not. And he's far from improving. Alrighty, so let's get into it. I'm gonna try and make it one topic altogether, since I'm really sick and tired of adding categories to these commentaries. So let's start with one of his old DeviantArt accounts, which recently got deactivated, but I'll get to that part later. So my friend Gibstein made two joke pictures out of Aaron and uploaded the pictures to DeviantArt. Aaron then comments on one saying, I am not a man-child, that's enough. And then on the other one he says, I am not a man-child, you know better. And then Gibstein replies with, Frick you. Yes, I said frick. I can't say the actual F word. I'm really sorry. And then he says, get out? What? And then Gibstein replies with, no, you're not the boss of me. You're not my parent. Frick you. And then Aaron says again, out of my life. You made me lose patience. Notice how patience is misspelled. Honestly, he had a good reason for making these pictures, basically because he eventually found out about all of his immaturity, including the drama he had with me. Which, at this point, I don't really like talking about. Also, the man-child part, yes. Because you act like you're two, yet you're 20. And keep in mind, and I know I've said this a million times, but keep in mind that this guy is older than I am. All of the bullcrap you have pulled over the course of a year genuinely tells me that you are indeed a man-child. I just, just, you... You really are a man-child, and you can't deny it. He then replies back saying, Oh, before you go, I just wanted to say, You hand over your profile picture? What? And then Gibstein says, Why exactly? And then Aaron says, Because I want it. I am not a man-child. I have autisms. Now hand your profile picture over. Okay, this is the part that bothers me. He uses his autism as an excuse to get out of certain things, especially to avoid constructive criticism. Also, just because you have autism doesn't change the fact that you are still a man-child. So then Gibstein says no, and then Aaron says, well how about a deal? And then Gibstein says, the frick is it? Of course, he doesn't make the deal. Instead, he says, before I let you go, I am not in love with Tailsco. I was once in love with Lucina Lloyd. I dated her on Facebook, and now she's disabled. Yeah, his girlfriend right now is a Super Smash Brothers character. But I'll get to that part later. And then Gibstein says, you do love Tailsco. And then we continue with the role playing. Yeah, that hasn't changed. So then Gibstein decides to play around with him and says, you moron, I'm invincible. And then Aaron says, oh really? And then he says yes. And then still continues the role play. And then Gibstein says, lol, you say you don't like role play. Lie, 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 lie. And then Aaron says, I like roleplay. I wanted to get you. Uh, I don't like RPs. Yep, we've got a hypocrite on our hands. And then Gibstein says, oh, you're just saying that because you want kids. <laughs> just honestly, the least you could have done is just ignore the pictures and move on with your life. But no, you had to go extreme instead. I mean, you can't talk to Aaron worth a crap. No matter what style you're talking in, or even what style you're typing in. Heck, he's getting to the point where if you just do something as low as type this face and send it to him, 
because you're getting aggravated at his immaturity, he'll throw a gigantic meltdown, which leads to another subject. Take a user who goes by the name of Powerlink64, who is actually the creator of that Zoe the Dachshund character Aaron uses in his low-budget, poorly-made videos. I actually hit him up on Discord thanks to Fabrice Rockman, who eventually set me up with him. He told me that he named the character after a dog of his he sadly had to give away. After this, I felt really bad for him, so please don't harass this user in any shape, form, or fashion. So Aaron eventually gave this user a request on DVD. Art, and he denied it. I don't know why, probably because he was busy with other stuff, I don't know. And then Aaron, as usual, threw a meltdown, and then he sent him this face. Because, like I said, he's getting aggravated at his immaturity. This is when Aaron's meltdown gets bigger. So he says, You are the meanest person I have ever heard in my life. Cries. Wow, way to play the victim card, Aaron. You're the meanest person in the world, oh my god! And then he says, I'm sorry for saying you're dead to me to you, and also for calling you mean. And then he pings him, and for the millionth freaking time posts a freaking crying emoji. So a few days later he forgets all about apologizing, and guess what he does? He makes several pictures of him destroying DeviantArt, which have been taken down due to his account getting deactivated. He also made killing pictures out of Powerlink, but like I said, they were taken down. So then he says, I just made destruction out of DeviantArt. Stop freaking me. Crying emoji. And then he says, I have destroyed DeviantArt because you fricked me. Crying emoji. With this face. Okay, first off, how can you destroy a website? That makes no sense. Secondly, like I said, the reason why he's making that face is because he's getting aggravated at your immaturity. And the part where you said he's freaking you with this is false because he only did it once at the moment and you're basically over exaggerating when you said he fricked you with it also it's a little something i'd like to call freedom of speech we have the liberty to spam this face all over your page if we want to because well it's america and we have the right to do whatever we want and you can't tell us what to do if you call something as little as this bullying then I don't know what's going through your mind right now. God, I really don't! So he then gets on Powerlink's alt account and says, Do you know what's gonna happen if someone is getting fricked? DeviantArt shuts down. And do you know what that means? This means I made destruction pictures out of DeviantArt. And then he makes an angry face, and then he replies with, Who boy, and then makes the face. Then Aaron replies, See that one right next to two words with three dots? It's that face. And then he replies spamming the face because, like I said, freedom of speech. And then he gets mad and then role plays again. Like I said, FREEDOM OF SPEECH! Oh, and another thing, if you're still bullying and harassing this guy, THEN WHY ARE YOU STILL USING HIS CHARACTER IN YOUR VIDEOS? And there's one more thing he said on Powerlink's profile that I'm honestly gonna warn you guys, you're probably gonna throw up after looking at it. Okay, I'm gonna show it. Three, two, one. Yes, this is legit, not photoshopped. He actually said this on his profile. Honestly. All of this over a little text emoji. We told you to stop making crying emojis all the time, but yet you rage at people for making this text emoji face all the time. HIPPOCRITE! So after all the crap with Powerlink settled down for a bit, I then noticed that his old account got deactivated. I have no idea how this happened, but I quickly assumed that DA found all of his crap on there and deactivated him because it was against their terms of service. But nope, that wasn't the case. I then got on YouTube and came across a video that caught my attention. It was another guy named Uncle Rexy Boy, who was also dealing with Aaron's crybaby manchild immaturity. And guess what? It tells how he got deactivated, or <laughs> should I say how he deactivated himself? Basically, in a nutshell, this video explains that this guy exposed Aaron for stealing characters and using them in his show and claiming them as his own, which I had said earlier about the Powerlink situation. I honestly agree with this because Aaron hardly ever gives any sort of credit for any of the characters he uses in his videos, especially using a character created by a guy who he harassed blind to the fact that he's already upset over giving his own dog away! I mean, Powerlink, if you're watching this, then I'm really sorry for all of the pain and suffering you're having to deal with right now. 
with Aaron harassing you on top of that. I'm too lazy to explain the rest of Uncle Rexy Boy's commentary, so you're just gonna have to watch it and see for yourself why he deactivated himself. If you haven't watched it yet, the link will be in the description. So then, after his account got deactivated, you must be thinking, it's all over. It has to be over, right? Well, what if I told you it was not? Yeah, he made another account on DeviantArt with a poorly made South Park OC. So the first thing he says after making his new account is how his girlfriend, aka Lucina Lloyd, the FICTIONAL character in Super Smash Bros. got disabled. But then he changes the subject and says she died. Yep, we're still whining about fictional characters' deaths. The worst part is that he claims that this character is his girlfriend. So he makes a picture about it and then he says, Lucina Lloyd is my girlfriend on Facebook until she died of the hands of Ike. Curse you, Facebook. Crying emoji! I hope you Lucina haters are happy with the murder you guys committed. Because I now hate Facebook because of you. Okay, this also makes no sense because I thought he was disabled on Facebook due to his behavior. I'm guessing he made a new account. Also, you're saying that Ike killed your girlfriend? Yep, you guessed it. Ike is a character in Smash 2, so he's fictional too. This honestly proves that it's a fictional death. Also, you then say that it's not Ike's fault, you then say it's Facebook's fault, which is a lie. You then say that everybody hates Lucina, which is a lie. And then you say it's our fault, which is a lie. And then you say you hate Facebook because of us. So whose fault is the fictional death then? Ike? Facebook or us. Also, you kept forcing people to cheer you up, and then you told them, You didn't even care about Lucia Lloyd, you monster! Despite the fact that you have no idea if anyone's ever heard of the character or not. Because hardly anyone has. I have autism, but what he has isn't autism. It's... Advanced autism. So the next picture he posts shows proof that he's a child predator. He makes a shipping with a five year old girl and an adult anthro, Amy Rose. You can throw up now, I honestly don't care. And then guess what? He gets into another fight with Powerlink because Powerlink decided to mess with him. So Powerlink does a random Ed, Ed, and Eddie meme, and then Aaron says, You are not a human. Rips Powerlink's 64 face and sees his face as a robot. What is with this guy calling people robots? So Powerlink decides to mess with him some more. So then he says, uh-oh, turns out you turned on my hyper mode. And then he does another roleplay. And then Aaron says, you are a robot. By the way, you're not Powerlink 64. And then he continues roleplaying. And then some other guy appears and says hi and spams the face because... Like I said, freedom of speech. So, it's just more role-playing, and then we start getting into an actual conversation when Aaron says, I'm sorry that I called you the meanest person in the world. Cries. Yeah, that's a lie. And then Powerlink says, Apology unaccepted, and then he does the troll face, and then Aaron says, You are mean! Honestly, Powerlink has the right to not accept your apology, like I stated in the last video how I myself have the right to not accept your apology because you have done so much crap that it's ridiculous. Also, when you try to apologize, you forget you even apologized three seconds later and go back to harassing the person. I mean, even when he publicly said that he was going to stop bothering Pixie Anna, he still made another killing picture out of her. Which, like I said, was taken down due to him deactivating his account. And the worst part is, the Pixiana situation has been going on for like, I don't know, two or three years now? And he still won't get over it? I mean, God! So then he posts the link to Villain's Wiki, and then he says, This is gonna happen to you. Okay, that's another thing. I also stated in the last video that it's against the rules of Villain's Wiki, or any other sort of Villain's Wiki, to just put a random person on there for no reason. So, don't even bother trying to put anyone on there. And then he says, You're against autisms I had. It's pronounced autism, you idiot. Autism doesn't have an S at the end. And then Powerlink says, Go on. And then Aaron says, 
you have ruined my life of autisms. I was born in 1999. I was autistic in America. I am a lonely person. Lucina Lloyd is my girlfriend, and yet you people have bullied me and turned me into a man-child when I'm not. Again. Yes, you freaking are. Also, no one else has turned you into a man-child but yourself. You're the only one to blame here. Basically, what you're saying here is, STOP BULLYING ME! I HAVE AUTISM AND YOU CAN'T BULLY PEOPLE WITH AUTISM! DUDE! These people are trying to give you constructive criticism, and they're also just playing around with you! Yet you take it so seriously! So he then gets back on his account saying, I am so mad at you for not accepting apologies I wrote yesterday. Like I said earlier, he has the right to not accept your apology, so wah, wah, call the wambulance! Yeah, I said that just to tick you off, because it was said to me once and it ticked me off. So yeah, wah, wah, call the wambulance. So then he uploads three more pictures to DeviantArt, and of course, they're edgy. One's an edgy picture, and the other two are killing pictures out of another user. One said, after Marth killed Sonic in that guy's universe, I can't pronounce his name, I'm sorry, I can't take this anymore. I am now transformed into a demon. Nobody will know what I do to them. Nobody will at all. Cries. Oh my god, you still haven't learned anything. So what if he made a killing picture out of a character? Let alone Sonic, for god's sake. Sonic is not officially dead anyway. Like I said, just ignore the user and don't interact with him. How do you respond to it? You make three pictures about it. Also, this is hypocritical, because he tried apologizing to this user before he uploaded the pictures, but he forgets he even apologized, like I said earlier, and goes back to harassing the very same person. I'm starting to think he has short-term memory loss, and not to mention pinging these people who would care less if you made these pictures or not. Anyways, the other one said, I have transformed into my true form because that guy killed Sonic off. I will avenge Sonic the Hedgehog's death. And then this one said, Sonic the Hedgehog, your death is avenged. Now I have ended that guy's life. His anger will surely collapse, and finally you can rest in peace. Cries. Oh my god, he thinks he lives in his own fantasy world when he doesn't. So then a user by the name of Candy Popet says, Me too, it disgusted me. I also really like Sonic. Sad face. And then, CRYING EMOJI! And then, she does the little thing where you hug the person to cheer him up. I don't know. I don't know. I forgive this user, though, since she doesn't really know much about his drama. So then, Erin replies, cries, what's happening? And then she says, sorry, I was just trying to console you. Sad face. And then he says, I am so sad that I have ended that guy's life. Cries, what? And then she says, I understand. And then he says, he's in heaven now. What? And then she jokingly says, yep, laughing face. Wow, I am so impressed at how well that user handled that situation. So, Kenny Popet, if you're watching this, then <coughs> hats off to you. I would have lost it then and there, but I'm getting to that part soon. Now we're getting to the real juicy stuff. I stumbled upon Aaron's poorly made wiki, and then I found something on his profile that said, The Frollo Show Wiki. I remember him mentioning this show several times in the past. So then I told myself, could this be another wiki he made? Turns out I was wrong. It was actually a fan-made show created by someone else. But, uh, getting to the real part here. So I found a comment Aaron had made on an article asking a question about the show. And you can literally see the answer already in the comment section. But he still kept on asking it. I swear guys, he needs help. So this all started when Aaron asked, where does this death count originate from? And then an anonymous user said, Someone literally said that it's original. Read the comments before asking a question next time. And stop capitalizing the first letter of all your words. That's not how grammar works. And then another user says, Whoa, that was pretty harsh. And then he says, Well, I'm sorry, but Aaron Doan has been annoying for years, and he shows no sign of stopping. And he literally doesn't have any excuse for not reading the comment right below, which is literally the same question than his. And then he asks it again. And then the anonymous user decides to play around with him, so he jokingly says, The same place where you can find porn. If you're wondering where the porn is, ask your mom. And then Aaron says, That's not what I said! And then the guy says, Well, next time you shouldn't ask the same question twice made by someone before you. Also, stop capitalizing the first letter of every word because it's annoying. And then another user comes out and says, 
That guy's confirmed that it's an original concept and not specifically derived from any source. Now please stop spamming the comments asking questions already replied to. Yeah, this is proof that he spams everywhere. This is the exact reason why me and my friends raided his server a year ago, because it was supposed to teach him a lesson about spamming. But no, it didn't, it just made him the guy who he is today. Well, he was like this before I met him, but you know what I mean. And this next bar is all of the icing on the cake. When a user named DingoCheese49 says, LMAO, this Aaron guy is stupid as frick. I knew this was him immediately as I read this. Why the frick do you capitalize every word you say? Some OCD problem. First this dude gonna spam the dang chat box. They already said the answer, but this MF don't wanna listen? Dang, he needs to prove so effing bad that he needs the answer from the creator himself? Boy, I can see through you like a darn x-ray. Please somebody make this kid's question a meme. <laughs> So then Aaron throws another one of his world famous meltdowns, saying, Stop, cries, just stop, and then he says, You have bullied me, you have been mean to me, you stay out of my life, you broke me, fricked me, and I have autism and you just ruined it. <laughs> and then he says, Whoa, whoa, I didn't mean to start crap that way, I was just making a joke, jeez everybody, chill. I won't say this kind of stuff again, I only come here to edit this wiki not start drama with other users. Calm down dude, I was only joking man. There, look, I'll stop. Yeah, all of this because Aaron can't take a freaking joke, like I stated about the situation with my friend Gibstein. Also, another example of Aaron over-exaggerating. Oh my god, you have been mean to me my entire life. Stop bullying me, I have autism. Um, what history do you have with this user? This is the first time you're responding to this user's post, and yet you assume that he has bullied you your entire life and how can you ruin autism uh, nothing about you makes sense i swear you yourself does not make any sense you're still acting like a man child and like i said just because you have autism doesn't mean that you're not a man child and none of these people have done it to you but yourself so later on he uploaded two more pictures to deviantart and both pictures are of him killing himself. Yeah, I stated several times that this guy will fake his suicide if things do not go his way. One doesn't have a description, but the other one says, Well guys, this is goodbye. My girlfriend is dead. Pixie Anna, Sugar Foxy killed Sally and Amy and ruined my childhood. Everyone kept acting mean and rude to me. And worst of all, I killed that guy. So this is the end of Aaron Doe. Goodbye forever. Now you see guys, this is where I finally snap. I know I've snapped at this guy several times, but I feel really proud of this one. I then get on my alt account on DeviantArt, because he blocked my main account, and I comment, I didn't think I'd have to say this again, but here we freaking go. You see this crap you're doing right here? Yeah, that I'm gonna kill myself because everyone is being mean to me crap right there. Especially combined with all of the other bad and awful things you have done over the course of a freaking year? This is the exact reason nobody likes you. This is the exact reason why I've made several commentaries on you, and yet you still haven't improved yourself. You're basically making everyone feel bad for you, and forcing them to cheer you up by faking your suicide 24-7, because absolutely nothing will ever go your way, and you won't ever listen to anyone when they're trying to help you. <laughs> you know Lucina Lloyd? Yeah, I've never heard of her, but Aaron is forcing me to cheer him up, because that fictional character Lucina Lloyd died in a fictional battle, and I never even heard of the character. And still whining about fictional deaths I see? How many freaking times do I have to freaking say it? They are fictional characters! If someone makes a killing picture out of a character you don't like, just ignore it, that's it. But no, you can't even do that. Personally, I don't care. Let them all die. I don't give a crap. Also, this thing about everything ruining your childhood? You're 20 years old. Stop freaking whining about it. I'm 17, yet I act more mature. Oh, and another thing. That guy is not dead. How many freaking times do I have to say that you can't freaking kill anybody through a freaking computer screen? This freaking role-playing bullcrap is seriously getting out of hand. Not to mention going as far as peeing in someone's mouth or making several killing pictures out of them when someone won't do your request and make this face. Oh yeah, that's another thing. This face means someone is getting aggravated at your immaturity. You cannot force someone to stop making this face because it's a little something I like to call freedom of speech. We can make that face whenever we want to because you're not the boss of us and we have the freaking right to tell you if you're doing something wrong and get aggravated when you won't listen. Also, not to mention losing it every time someone makes it. 
So, you know what? I'm just gonna spam this face here if you don't mind. And another thing, it's against the rules of Villain's Wiki, or any other Villain's Wiki, to just put a random person who is trying to help you on there because you played the victim card and told them, YOU'RE MEAN! So don't even bother putting anyone on there anymore. You just have it in your stupid head that it's your world and it's either your way or no way. It's the gospel according to Aaron. My god, I tried my very best to try and avoid dealing with you, but this is the last freaking straw. No, it's been the last freaking straw. And even when you try to apologize to anyone for what you have done, you forget you even apologize three seconds later and go back to harassing the person. And even when someone doesn't accept one of your unsincere apologies, you throw another one of your world-famous hissy fits. Like Pixie Anna, who apologized to her and didn't talk about that fictional death for about several months, but a few days ago you still made a freaking killing picture out of her. And don't even get started with all that I am not a man-child bullcrap because you are a man-child and nobody else turned you into a man-child but yourself. You are the one to blame. Pixie Anna didn't ruin your life, I didn't ruin your life, Joey and Sully didn't ruin your life, that guy didn't ruin your life, Toa and Sully didn't ruin your life, Moons and Desire didn't ruin your life, Paralink64 didn't ruin your life. None of these people ruin your life. You are the one who ruined your own life and turned yourself into a man-child, and you pretty much admitted it up to this point. Even saying the phrase, you ruined my life of autism, pretty much proves that you need help up to this point. Also, that thing about Uncle Rexy Boy saying that you steal characters is true, because Powerlink64 made Zoe the Dachshund, and yet you didn't give credit for that character, nor any of the other characters you use in your videos. Also, if you hate Powerlink64 for whatever your stupid reason is, then why do you still use Zoe the Dachshund in your videos? There's way too much evidence left over that you are a confirmed man-child and a confirmed menace to society. You think you can just forget about it, but no. No matter what you do, proof of your immature behavior is still going to exist on the internet. When you revealed your phone number to the public, I near about called your parents about your behavior. I'm not lying, I actually near about called your parents. Because they need to know about your behavior right now. They ought to be very disappointed in you. My final advice, you need to grow the frick up, you act like you're two years old when you're 20, get some freaking help, and leave people with different opinions alone. You need to learn that your horrible and possibly revolting behavior is doing nothing but harming yourself and others around you. And even if you're willing to block my alt after I worked so hard trying to type this message, that confirms it, you will never change your ways. You blocked my friend Gibstein just for saying the word okay! So like I said, don't give me that I am not a man-child bullcrap because you are a man-child. This message is not some stupid fictional roleplay. This is real life and you have to deal with it. Nobody is to blame here but yourself. This will be my final comment. So goodbye, adios, au revoir, ciao, sayonara, you stupid freaking man-child. Moo. Ugh. Ugh. I hope that worked. Oh Jesus freaking Christ! Why can't I talk sense to this guy? God, I worked so hard making that comment! <laughs>Yeah, I blew my stack, so what? It was the last freaking straw. I did my very best to try and prevent myself from doing anything involved with him, even after I said publicly that the last video was going to be the last video. I still ended up hearing about his behavior, and not to mention his roleplaying worsening. I just really needed to talk about it and put one final say into it. And I'm glad I made this video, because there's no taking it back now. There's already too much evidence on the internet of Aaron's immaturity. He thinks he can just forget about it, but no, it still exists, no matter what he does. So yeah, after every single video I made on him and trying to help him, and after all of the mock videos I've made trying to show him what he's doing, he just flat out refused it and said that these videos were bullying him when they're not. At this point, honestly, screw him. If he doesn't want to improve and still act like a man-child and that he's two years old, then so be it. I'm done trying to help him. And this is my final video on him, for real this time. Thank you to the people who have helped me with the previous videos, I couldn't thank you all enough for this. And I'm really glad I got to respond to this with one last say and literally go off with a bang. This is now officially my final video on Aaron Doe. If you're willing to go and talk sense into him yourself, then all I'm going to say is, <sighs> good luck. And Aaron, if you're watching this, then don't even bother trying to apologize because I already know you're gonna forget about apologizing in under a second. So, your apology is not accepted. But anyways, that does it with this video. Thank you all so much for watching and understanding. Now, if you all will excuse me, I'm gonna go watch some Soul Eater Not.